So when you first enter my apartment, this is what the view from the door looks like. Um, basically to the left, we have my new table set up with my dollhouse I'm working on, the vanity, the litter box in the corner, the bat wall, and then that door behind the vanity is um, the large door to the walk-in closet, and behind this door is where the door in bed, the Murphy bed kind of situation, bed and door, whatever, that's where that's at. I'm not going to open that up and show it because it's a pain in the butt. Um, so then we've got the other mirror that's on top of the other litter box, and then my TV setup, my jorts, and my Philips. So, it's not like a huge, huge room, but there's enough room to kind of have it be in two segments. And then we have, hello, me, my clothing rack to the other side of the door, as well as a little tiny shelf with my shoes, cat toys. Um, the new couch, which, that moon shelf is like basically centered on that wall, so everything else kind of is spaced around that. So the couch is centered. Um, I intentionally didn't hang these uh, posters that I, did, I drew at the same height, but they're like not quite at the, like off center enough, so they kind of drive me crazy. Um, George is on top of the table that I moved yesterday. Sun in his buns, he's pretty happy about that. He's watching Jade the Libra on TV. Um, and then we go into the little hall. So this is a closet that is very messy and has um, my clothes that don't hang in there. So it's basically like a linen closet. And then this is the other entrance to the walk-in closet, which I also am not going to um, go into. And then we have the bathroom across the hall from the linen closet. Pretty basic. I've got a black shower curtain, black rug, sink little mirror and then like a little medicine cabinet kind of situation here which is you know kind of basic um that's one of my paintings i did a few years ago in the hall and then through the sequined curtains we are now into my bedroom um so it's very small it's basically large enough for just my bed a small end table george's bed a little bit of art and then we turn around, and that's my new wax melt, wax warmer. It's cool. I have um, pumpkin and fire side going on right now, so it smells smoky and fall-like. Um, when you turn around from the bed, there's these two built-in cabinets that I'm going to turn into, like, a curio cabinet, so those are a work in progress. Um, and then I have these curtains that I hung with a tension rod to kind of make this room feel like a room. So like I've got those curtains and then I've got these curtains and then through these curtains is my teeny tiny kitchen which cat food on the floor, my bat shelf, my <laughs> pasta monster, little stove, actually not a little stove, the stove's huge. I kind of wish it was smaller so that I could put like a some sort of bench space in here. Um, got red fridge, big fridge, also wish it was smaller. Um, and then we have my new plates and bowls that I got, my uh, mess from last night, also from last night, and then tons of storage for a very small kitchen because these go all the way to the ceiling and um, I can't reach them. And then even more storage underneath the sink. So I really like this vintage, like, it's not really farmhouse, but it kind of gives me that vibe, like 1930s kind of old sink and these counters are at an angle so that the little grooves because you're meant to drain your dishes there so that's it that's my apartment it's not huge it's I mean maybe for like Paris standards but you know that's it say goodbye no they're sleeping